So today is gonna be real quick how we feed our puppies. They are about a month and maybe two weeks. We have weaned them officially off of the milk, but what we were using was this. And it comes with, you can see the bag is empty. It comes with a scooper. So I would take this scooper, and it smells really good, it smells like vanilla. I would take this, put a scoopful, and then I would put a scoop of goat milk in it as well. And then I would have warm water just from the sink. Um, and, they would, and then I started mixing baby food. What do you call it, baby rice? Gerber rice cereal, I was mixing that with it as well. And every now and then I would put some of Maddie's food, their mom's food, like a little bit in there to give them that feel. We have them running around right now, so y'all hear a lot of commotion going on, that's what's going on. Um, yeah, <laughs> so um, that's pretty much it. Now we have them on puppy. Blue. and so that's their food right here they ate it really good and all I did was that I still have them on the goat milk we have the can because they ran out of powder at Walmart but that's what I poured some of this over their food and they did really good and the reason why I'm continuing to do the goat milk is because one, it gives them a lot of protein. Two, uh, it keeps them warm um, throughout the winter. So Maddie gets goat milk as well on top of her food. Usually powder, just a little uh, scoop. I don't know what we're gonna do, probably add that over her food, like gravy or whatever, because it helps her continue to, um, uh, when, she, when she does decide to feed them, because Maddie stopped, Maddie stopped feeding them around three weeks. So every now and then she'll come in and do a little bit, but for the most part, we feed them. We were bottle feeding them, and uh, yeah. So that's what we're doing now. Maddie's still on pedigree. We give her a little bit of goat milk. Only issue we had one, one of them uh, was boo-booing blood at one point, but I gave them some charcoal, a little bit of charcoal on their tongue and on their, uh, in their food, and we didn't have that issue no more. Well, we had to take a break because the puppies actually spilt the food with the water. They were wrestling. They are um, actually having, they were having playtime. Usually I take them outside, but we had a busy day today. So um, I'll, you know, usually take them outside for about 10 minutes. Um, they'll play in here for about 10 minutes. They're usually tired. But I let Maddie come in, try to spend some quality time with her. But they're aggravating her because they still try to get the milk from her. So right now, I forgot to mention that I was uh, putting dine in their food. We actually just ran out of that as well. Right around the time we ran out with the milk. I kept the bag so I could do the vlog and show you guys. Um, usually they eat about two times a day, early in the morning and then in the, at night, you know. Same with Maddie. Um, we've been giving her a lot of meat, you know, as well. So I'm thinking about um, adding or doing a raw diet, uh, maybe like twice a week. How we do hers, we give her like an egg in her food. Um, 
at least twice a week as well. Um, but and I was adding dime to her as well. She looks really good. She was really skinny um, after the puppies dropped, um, but she looks really good, really good. Her weight is coming back up. So yeah, the main thing is keeping them fit. I love how their little bodies are looking. Um, they're real swole looking. But that's it for our, uh, what we feed our pups and dogs. Um, the dime gives them, you know, the nutrients and protein that they need as well. Um, and it's like vanilla, so I would add all that. For the puppies, when I was weaning them off a uh, Maddie, I would give them the milk, the powdered milk, like a spoonful of goat milk, the Gerber rice, and some dime. And then I started adding a little bit of hard food, but I would grind it up in our blender. And um, that helped them, it was easy for them to go to um, to the regular food. And then sometimes we feed Maddie inside, so when we noticed that uh, they were trying to eat her food or attempting to eat her food, you know, we went ahead and um, I just let everything run out so I could get the... Um, hard food and I heard blue was one of the best blue and diamond so um, we're starting them on the uh, blue it's pretty good and like I said Maddie she's still on her pedigree she still likes it mix it with meat um, and like I said we add an egg in there put a little bit of goat milk on top of hers as well and um, yeah and her weight has picked back up. She doesn't look like sickly or anything like that. The puppies look nice and thick and healthy. And um, yeah, so we are down to five. Two are leaving next week. Um, I decided to keep two instead of one. And the last one leaves in February. Maddie, all right y'all, but let her back out.